Hello, in this video we are going to deal with inverse hyperbolic functions which mean that inverse of hyperbolic functions. So first let me prove a formula where we are going to convert the inverse function in terms of logarithms. So the statement is for any x belongs to R prove that the formula that is inverse hyperbolic function of sin x is equal to log x plus under root x square plus 1 to the base e. So first let us consider the inverse hyperbolic function which is y equal to inverse hyperbolic sin x. So that implies we can write this function in terms of hyperbolic function which would be x equal to hyperbolic sin y. And now we already know the definition of hyperbolic sine function which would be equal to x equal to e power y minus e power minus y divided by 2. And here converting e power minus y in terms of 1 by e power y, the equation would become x equal to e power y minus 1 by e power y divided by 2. And then by simplifying, we would get x equal to e power y into e power y minus 1, then divided by the denominator which would be 2 into e power y. And then transferring denominator to the left hand side, we get x into 2 into e power y, which is equal to e power y into e power y, which would be e power 2y minus 1. And then transferring this term to the right hand side, we get e power 2y minus 2x into e y minus 1, which is equal to 0. And now this equation is in the form of quadratic equation in terms of e power y. So by comparing quadratic equation with this equation, we get the values of a as 1 and the value of b is minus 2x and then the value of c is equal to minus 1. And we already know that the formula to find the roots of equation of quadratic equation is x equal to minus b plus or minus under root b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. So by using this formula, we can find the root for e bar y which would be equal to minus of the value of b which is minus 2x plus or minus under root b square which will be 4x square minus 4ac that is 4 into 1 into minus 1 divided by 2a which is 2 into 1. So the equation would become as 2x plus or minus under root 4x square then minus into minus becomes plus so we get plus 4 divided by 2. Then by taking 4 as the common factor, we get 2x plus or minus under root 4 into x square plus 1 divided by 2. So that implies the equation would become 2x plus or minus square root of 4 which is 2 into under root x square plus 1 divided by 2. And then taking 2 as the common factor, we get 2 into x plus or minus under root x square plus 1 divided by 2. And 2, 2 gets cancelled over here. And this is the root for e power y. So we already know that e power y is greater than 0 for all y belongs to r. And x is less than under root x square plus 1. So hence we can say that the root of e power y is equal to x plus under root x square plus 1. So by using the definition of logarithms which is log n to the base e which is equal to x. So that implies we can write it in the exponential form as e power x is equal to n. So by using this definition, we get y equal to log x plus under root x square plus 1 to the base e. And here y is nothing but the function which is inverse hyperbolic sine x that is equal to log x plus under root x square plus 1 to the base e. So hence we transformed inverse hyperbolic function in terms of log and this can be used as a formula and now let us proceed and discuss few more formulas so this is the formula for inverse hyperbolic cos x and then this is the formula for inverse hyperbolic tan x and similarly these are the formulas in terms of logarithms so make a note of all these formulas as these formulas are important in solving examples in upcoming videos. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.